Okay, so I have this little window, and it has some plexiglass in it. All it took was for me to undo some screws. I saved the screws, so I'm going to put them back in. This was the little hook up here. Um, right here are screws that I loosened so I can pop this right out. Okay, so I popped that window out. Now, let me show you. And don't worry about this. On this window, it kind of stuck where, but as you can tell, when you put it back together, you can't see that. Okay. Look at how beautiful this rice paper is. And look at the bees up at top, up on the top. That's why I'm not sure if I want to do the bees or the butterflies. Look at how beautiful that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry. This is alcohol. I'm just cleaning it with a little alcohol. I wanted it to be clean. I'm going to set it to the side and let that dry for a minute. We're going to paint our frame. Okay. We're going to make our own navy. I'm going to add a little bit of black and it's going to darken this just a little bit. So I've got this blue in here. It's a chalk paint and it's ocean. The color ocean. It's Waverly chalk paint. We're going to put a dab of black in this. Just a little bit. Okay. So you can see I just put a dot of black in there. Now we're going to stir this up. It is almost like a blue gray, but look at how pretty it's going to look with that. That's going to be perfect. Okay. We are setting that to the side and we're going to paint this. Um, yes, I have so many ideas for this bling that it was so, di oh, this is the perfect color, guys. Okay, so I've got it all painted, just making sure, and I'm going to set it over here. These came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint two of these also. I may go ahead and paint four of them, just because I don't know if I want two or four. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, let's paint these. And we, th these I'm going to use as like little feet on these to make it stand up, to make it where you don't have to um, hang it on the wall. It's gonna be like little feet. I just want them to blend in. I don't want them to look like they were anything but what we want them to be. We don't want them to look like their little Jenga blocks. <laughs> All right. We're going to let those dry. Here is this paper. Okay. Let's just go for it. It nothing gained if we don't try, right? So I want it cut right there, straight across. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We cut this straight across. We know that that is gonna be covered up anyway. We know we want it like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this piece over like this y'all just like that okay so I'm gonna take my Mod Podge 
and I'm gonna put it on the back side. Get the Mod Podge. Okay, so you guys, I am, I do have another, um, gifting. Now, you guys know that Mod Podge is a little milky, okay, a little cloudy until it dries. So, that is going to be the case here. That is going to be the case. So, we want to make sure. get this where we want it. I'm pushing it up. Now I'm going to flip it over and I am going to smooth it out. Here. So here is the first part of it. Okay. I'm going to take some scissors. There's no need for me to use um, for me to use the um, sandpaper on the edge of this. You can if you want. You can if you want. I'm just going to run some scissors around the edge. So far, this is what we have. Now we want the bees in the window. We want the bees in the window. So all I had to do was cut that like so. And I'm just working the bees over. So I'm gonna put Mod Podge on this top part. It has Spread the joy. We appreciate that so much that we want to send you a gift. So if you will, okay, let me cut around this top. Okay, so let's make sure that this is down good. We want that to be down good. This is dry. I'm not even going to glue this back in. Uh, there's no need because it does have the screws all in it. We're doing a little, little bit of construction. Look at how pretty that is. But now we are going to bring it up a notch. Okay. And it's going to be like so. Okay. Now, this is, this wood will hold the hot glue. If I were putting metal on metal, I would for sure not use hot glue. I would use something like E6000, something like that. But because I'm putting this on the metal, it will hold it and this is not going outside. So it is going to be just fine. We're going to do blocks on the back of this. Okay, I'm going to keep it flat. Okay. 
do it now. I'm going to set it like this. Make sure I have all of the pieces. That's what we've done today. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.